I have come back to Eternia to talk to my food collector, Skeletor, to see what food he has brought for me for this episode of Snack Bar. Skeletor, what have you brought? Well, Ian, I have brought you tuna with gravy. Wow, Skeletor, tuna and gravy? That doesn't sound so- Wait a second! Pepre, it's cat food, Skeletor! <laughs> you fat son of a bitch! You're gonna have to eat cat food! How do you feel about that? <laughs> No, I'm not eating cat food, Skeletor. Yes, you are. What other option do you have? I don't know. Wait, Ian. Batman! Yes, I've brought you doctor enough. It's enough. Thank you, Batman! <laughs> No being boozled this time, yeah. No being boozled this time. No being boozled this. Joey? What? What are you doing in my house? Good question. Well, it's a good thing I brought two of these. Mm. Oh. I've had this before. It's, uh. Doctor Enough! It's. It's enough. It's enough. <laughs> Rich in vitamins. Well. As you can see, this has a really old-timey label, so you know what I think we need to do, Joey? I think we need to be all artsy. Black and white time. That's better, right? Yeah. Ah, yeah, you're right, Sepia Town. This is perfect! Uh. Okay. Yeah! No, wait! Wait, nope! Ah, uh, yeah. Back to regular colors, please. I need the inverted. Maybe oh, wait, no. we're negative. That's better. <laughs> Don't. Just for laughs. Frack, it's been boozled! There we go. Anyways. So, <laughs> Dr. Enough, you know more about the history of this soda than I do. Um. It's made by Tri that's right here. Tri State Tri City Beverage Corporation. Um technically it's related to Mountain Dew before Pepsi bought Mountain Dew. Um the company was the Tri, Tri City Beverage Company made this and Mountain Dew. Um they're both citrus they're both citrus drinks. And the company went through went went through a hard time and, and sold Mountain Dew off to uh, Pepsi, which became quite a big very big product. So this is technically a relative to Mountain Dew pre Pepsi. What kind of soda is it? Technically, it's a citrus drink. Citrus drink. Green bottle, just like most citrus drinks. You got this nice little label. Little dude here telling us rich in vitamins. I guess that's doctor enough. He's got a, almost like a watch on his head, but it's not. <laughs> well. Oh, yeah. We're in for a good time. I wasn't aiming how to do what I was throwing it. This is my first can ever drinking this. Here we go. It's citrusy. It's a very citrus soda. It is a citrus soda, but this tastes nothing like Sprite and nothing like Mountain Dew. But it's not quite in between either one of those either. It tastes nutty. I can, I can see where you're coming from. I don't think it tastes quite nutty, but I get where you're coming from. It has a very weird flavor. I'm not used to this. This is, and if anyone's going to be like, hey, it doesn't taste like Sierra Mist, no. No, it, I mean, no, it doesn't taste like Sierra Mist. Um, I actually enjoy this drink a lot. This is actually really good. I've been doing it. I like this. I like my own sodas. 100 percent, 100 percent, 100% pure sugar. Well, um, this was doc, this is doctor enough. We picked it up at Cracker Barrel, or I picked it up at Cracker Barrel, or... I what, did. What happened in continuity of the video? <laughs> Let's just say, after we went and had some beans, we actually had some good food. Uh, I mean, that was last week. That was last week we went, we had bean booze on. Last week. Totally last week. Uh-huh, last week. Mm -hmm. And, uh, um, so, my thoughts on doctor enough. If you like citrus soda, go get one. These were picked up at Cracker Barrel. If you're in the city, I have no idea where you get these at. But if you're in the south, 
Cracker Barrel. Um, Doctor Enough is actually more Southern brand, more around like more closer to Nashville than we are. Go on Amazon. Go on eBay. If you live in the city, you can't find any, or you know, just don't try it. Whatever. Do whatever you want. Just like and subscribe to this video. Peace.